Hey everybody, it's Crystal Marshall from Marshall Studio Photography. We are here late packing for a wedding that we have tomorrow at the College of William & Mary in Williamsburg. And since this is a domestic wedding or something that I can drive to, I am going to bring a little bit more gear because I have the space. I'm driving now, if I'm flying, I won't be bringing nearly as much as this and I'll be um, being as minimalistic as possible. But let me just show you really quick what I bring to a wedding. Um, so we have, I do, I have my husband that shoots with me, so we have three bags. I have two bags. So this is bag number one. I have my 70 to 200 uh, 2.8 for mostly ceremony and candidates and I'll give that to my husband for when he's doing, um, you know, when I'm doing the, the family portraits, he can pop over with this and do kind of candid smiles. I have in this, and I have my remotes. Uh, these are young newer remotes. Um, and here I have uh, a backup flash, which is always good. I have a backup uh, battery charger, always good. Business cards, which is very helpful because I want when I walk around during cocktail hour to do table photos of people because that might be the only photo they have of the wedding in the wedding. Um, I give them a business card and I say it's going to be on the front page of my website in the next couple of days. Like me on Facebook, so I get about 15 likes within just the wedding. People walking around checking my business card, which is great. Um, in this secondary bag, I have um, two main flashes. And what I can do with that if my um, remotes don't work, I can put this on manual and put this one on slave so that I can have um, like an off-camera flash uh, system. Um, battery charger just in case. And again, I'm not flying. I wouldn't have all these chargers and stuff. This is my 105 macro for ring shots. I have a, a name tag. I always wear a name tag when I'm shooting weddings. It makes me look official and it has my website on it. People can... Talk to me, which is great. Um, some, let's see what I have. My husband's bag. He has his own uh, Nikon D750 with a 58 millimeter lens. He's doing the guys tomorrow. He's gonna be separate from me at a different location, so I'm giving him the nice stuff. And I'm giving him a 35 millimeter 1.8 as a backup lens, just in case I need to be inside, because it might rain. Um, this is a D7000 backup camera as a, uh, a backup. He has two flashes as well and it has a third backup flash. So I have like six flashes that I carry. Again, if I was flying, I would probably be doing four, um, but I'm not flying. He has his own extra batteries and we always use rechargeable double A's. It's great for the environment. Plus, I've used these batteries for like five or six years now, recharge them every wedding. I go through about 16 to 20 every wedding. So totally worth getting rechargeable batteries and do not get the Amazon ones. They're awful. Get like Energizer or Duracell, that kind of thing. Okay, light stand number one, if we have an off-camera flash situation, um, I do try to shoot natural light as much as possible, but if there's, a, for example, if it's gonna rain, um, I might have a softbox. This is a, this is a great little kit. I got this for $30 on Amazon. Pops out, Studio Pro um, pocket flash softbox, pops out right there. Comes with, I upgraded the bracket a little bit just because I like this one better, but I can give a link on the bottom what I did with that. So that would be a, a off-camera flash softbox situation that folds up. My husband will might bring that for the guys. Um, if I need another softbox, if I'm doing like a really large family softbox, I have an umbrella softbox here. This is a newer, newer softbox, and I'll show you when I pull it out. Now, if I was flying, I couldn't bring this because it couldn't fit in a suitcase. I have to bring stuff and that will fit in a suitcase. This will fit in a suitcase. So I bring that and I use tripods instead of, um, so this is nice. This is a nice big uh, light source. I would use this for a large family uh, portrait. So this is nice. Um, again, if I was flying, I would do this. I would do a tripod as a light stand because a tripod can fold nicely into a um, carry-on only bag. Light stand. Um, brackets, funny brackets. This is a nice little gadget. I put that on my flash when I walk around during the cocktail hour or the reception to kind of just get a little bit more burst of light onto someone's face. It's not like direct flash, especially if they're in a dimly lit cocktail hour. This is a nice little uh, flash for that. I also have a rogue flash bender that does very similar uh, thing. This is a great little flash, again, if you're flying and you need like a miniature softbox effect or um, a reflected light effect, this would be a great little um, throw in your bag for the airport 
So this is again, this is the Rogue Flash Bender. So I have used that on a couple of shoots when I was traveling and didn't have a lot of space. Um, we have Black Rapid Strap. I have another double one in my car. We have a sandbag, very important for reception. Again, if I was flying, I wouldn't have the convenience of having that. So let me talk about this bag of tricks really quick. So let's say you're in the situation where, like tomorrow, it's a 40% chance of rain during the first look. So I might be inside. I might be in this overhang with the rain coming down. And that might also be really cool pictures. But since it's a first look, you might not want to trash the dress too soon. Um, so I have my little bag of tricks. For, for some special effects. So we have this Ziploc bag that you can shoot through to kind of like make a really cool hazy uh, situation. I have a little pocket mirror that you can like, let, let's say you have literally three feet by four feet area to take first look pictures in. Maybe you can put this mirror and it can kind of um, get the tr like a trash can out or like a side window or something. So this is a great little tool to kind of like in camera reflect out some things that you don't want to be seen. I have a prism, which is an awesome tool for, again, doing some cool uh, light leak effects or um, like rainbow effects if you have kind of like an ugly room to shoot in, especially if it's raining. This is one of my favorite, favorite things. It's a copper pipe. I got it from um, Home Depot for a couple bucks. And let's say you have a sparkler exit. Um, tomorrow night is going to go until about 8 or 9 at night. Um, they might have a sparkler exit. This is a great thing to shoot through. You'll have a lot of amazing uh, fire flares in there, so pick one of those up. Um, this is an awesome little thing. I think we got this on Amazon for a couple bucks, and it is a... How do I turn it on, dear? Like that? Oh, so this is a really cool... You can wrap it around your lens, and it makes various different, you know, colors. I um, mean, get different ones. So this is a cool thing. You can get some cool bokeh in the back some uh, rim light um, off of your lens. So if you had like a special effect you need to get done, this might be cool to kind of like flash in front of your lens to give them a really cool pop of color. So anyway, that's a little cool special effects bag um, just in case there's rain, just in case you need some amazing photos in a very small tight space with not a lot of pretty uh, backdrop or whatever. So that's a really great bag to have. So anyway, so this is just a little bit of what I bring. I fit it all inside this awesome, amazing wagon. And then what's cool about this is it has beach wheels so that if I am at kind of a woodsy location or something, I have the beach wheels. And um, so anyway, so I have to pack it all up because I had it all organized for tomorrow. But anyway, this is Crystal Marshall. You can follow me at um, Marshall Studio on Facebook. Instagram is Chica Marsh and on Twitter, um, Martial Arts. So, have an awesome day. Thank you so much. See you next time.